Well, in the Premier League years, the fixture between Tottenham and Liverpool has produced some really remarkable games. Welcome to the latest edition. I'm Martin Tyler, and alongside me is Alan Smith. Yeah, it's been interesting listening to some of the players talking about this match. There's a real excitement in both camps, and uh, as a result, we might see some fireworks out there. Manchester City discuss it's not been what... Uh, They've delivered in recent years, particularly since they got greater financial backing. And those owners will be a bit worried about what's going on so far this season. Well, I had them down as title challengers. I can't believe where they are at this stage in the season. And I just don't think they're going to recover now. Liverpool, a good side they look at the moment. They won away their last game against Chelsea. Yeah. And uh, plenty to admire in that 1-0. They're going to get another victory. I think it'd be a draw. Two changes for Tottenham today. Hugo Lori starts in goal. Mark Barcher plays with Toby Alderweireld as the centre back. Harry Winks plays with Christian Eriksen in midfield. Son Hyung Min starts up top with Harry Kane. This is the Liverpool side. Virgil van Dijk plays with Joel Matip as the centre-backs. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And they'll play with a sole striker. Spurs have started the first half. Eriksen's corner. Son! He's gone! Fantastic start, really quick off the blocks here, and they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. That is a wonderful goal, Alan. It's good, plenty of set pieces this season, and that one was right up there. Let's see the replay now. This could bring them level. Goodness me, it's hit the post. Well, they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then. It was a great chance, I thought. But they're safe again. This is Firmino. Maybe the cross. Fabinho. Takes off the shot. Two minutes. Fabinho. Level again, Liverpool. Wouldn't be surprised to see them go on and win it now. Well, the equaliser has happened, took perhaps the opposition by surprise, but we're level again, it's what they've deserved. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. Great news for the manager, because I think he made uh, a couple of changes there, and now they're back on level terms. Here's Ali. Okay. Back with Song. Must take the lead here. Ah, oh, fantastic goal. No goal. Flag up. Well, that assistant there, he was certain the flag went up straight away. Yeah, it just seemed to have been rumbling on for quite some time. I wouldn't be surprised. Pass threaded through. Mohamed Salah. Fabinho. And there it is for Liverpool. Two for him on the day, and two very well-taken goals. And here's the goal again.
Excellent play from Christian Eriksen as he drives his team forward. And that's good support. Shots on here. Goal! Well, how long did that lead last, Martin? Not long at all, and the manager down there is absolutely furious. Always gets involved, this manager. Loves to hug his players after a goal. Great scenes. Well, great scenes of jubilation here, having got that equaliser, had to work so hard to achieve it. Let's see the replay now. Well, you can't blame him, the manager is delighted with the character his team has shown to get back into this game. Mohamed Salah. Firmino in with a chance. Liverpool go ahead in these closing minutes. Delighted players and fans. For Liverpool, it's just a case of being organised now. Great time to score and take the lead. Oh, not many come the hour. They found the man. A good look here. Again, via the replay of the goal. And that's a win confirmed for Liverpool. It was really close, right up to the final whistle but they've got across the finishing line with their noses just in front. I'd be relieved about that because the opposition pushed them all the way. It was a cracking contest. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. A really good day at the office for him. Grabs himself a couple in a win. Couldn't be much better. But as for him, I think if he'd have been in better form today, we might have had a different result. But the fact is, he was below par, as was his team.